Hi, hello, it's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thanks ever so much for tuning in today. So today is part two of my water and ink series. And if you saw my first water and ink series, um, we talked about the different types of colour, uh, all the different mediums and the different things that we have colour in. Uh, and we touched briefly on some of the different types of inks. Um, and we focused mainly on our classic... Um, our classic water-based ink that comes in the refills or in the normal ink pads okay so we were focusing on the ink pads and what you could do with the right markers etc so that was part one so now we're into part two and I'm this one's called opposites attract okay because we all know that apparently opposites attract um, but in ink and in stamping it really is the case that opposites do attract um, and you shouldn't actually put the same thing together so I'll explain what I mean by that we did this one um, the other day uh, in my other video and you can see it's all a bit kind of wishy-washy and blurry and whatever and that's because we added water to water-based ink um, on a piece of normal cardstock and it did what it's going to do. Water and water together are going to merge and blend and move together and sort of um, react with each other. Okay, so it did what it was supposed to do, but not necessarily what we wanted it to do. So today I'm going to share with you the, the, the reason why I say opposites attract, and I use that in terms of how to remember what to use with what. Okay, so we talked about Memento last week, and the, oh, not last week, but last video, and this is a dye-based, water-based ink. So remember we talked about that being water-based, and we talked about stays on being solvent-based okay or alcohol based because a solvent is a kind of alcohol um, in terms of inks okay so we talked about our stamping blends and the fact that these are alcohol inks and then we talked about our watercolor pencils which are made out of the same kind of dye that we use in our refills on our stamp pads which are water-based inks so I put them like this for a reason to show you that you need the opposite of the colour type that you're using. Okay, so we use a water based memento pad when we're using alcohol based pens, and we use a alcohol or solvent based ink pad when we're using water pens or pencils or inks or refills or whatever else we've got lots of different things on this side we've only got one set of alcohol markers so you just need to remember that our alcohol markers need to go with memento and all our other inks need to go with stays on okay so let me show you what that looks like in real life okay so i have here onto adventure which is a fantastic stamp set um and quite frankly would be would have been perfect for us going to Maui we're still going to Maui I'm being confident that we're still going to Maui uh, because I think that's me and I think that's Sean so <laughs> so I'm going to show you how these would be colored in the two different ways okay and we'll put those on our little note cards so for Sean I'm going with the alcohol based markers okay so I'm using my memento inking inking him up now this one is a it's a different ink pad. You can see it's like a felt based pad. It's not foam. It's got little bits hanging off. Um, so you need a little bit more oomph with this one. It's not just a gentle tap, tap, tap. You do need to press down and get the ink on your stamp. Uh, and then you're going to press it down onto your um, cardstock as you would do normally and hold. Now all of these um, that I'm using at the moment are rubber based ink, uh, rubber based stamps. So um, I'm not using my foam mat and you don't need to hold them for so long it just sits beautifully like so okay so this is my nice um let's move those out so they don't get any shiny on them that's what i'm trying to do um so there's my nice man uh, and i've got some of my blends here and you can see that i can color straight over the black on this and we're not getting any merging the black's not actually moving at all uh, the green is just laying on top of that okay so if I bring that up and do a close-up um, the black is still the black the green is still the green it's not merged at all 
Uh, there's some shadowing going on because that's the way that Stamping Up have designed the uh, image, but there's no actual moving. Yeah, I think I'm going to give Sean, obviously this is going to be Sean, right? Um, I think I'm going to give Sean blue shorts. Yeah, let's do that. Blue shorts, so nice dark blue shorts. He's got a pair of shorts that are dark blue. Um, and with the stamping blends, you just they just they just blend. They're just so lovely. So you can add a bit of light and shade. Um, let's give him a light blue top. I'm going to do this. He likes his blues. Uh, not his camera. We'll miss that out. But since we're off to Hawaii, hopefully, uh, I think I'm going to add some nice bright flowers on there for him. Uh, and you can see with these markers that they're just, they're just, you know, lying, they're sort of absorbing into the paper. And you probably can't see it quite so much on camera, but you can hopefully now you can start to see as I add more, it just adds a bit more depth. We need a bit more colour under here. It's just adding a bit more tone to his shirt. So you can see where the dark patches are. And they would be slightly darker under here. Not because he's sweating, but because just it's in shadow of his arm, so... And then we'll just, uh, these will just be slightly lighter up here. Okay. And as that dries, that'll lighten up because we haven't put quite so much in there. Right. So let's do that. We'll give him a nice dark blue hat. It's funny enough, he's got a dark blue hat. <laughs> um, um, his All his stripes are the same. So we're just going to do the same stripes. Obviously, if you had a more colourful husband... You could do different coloured stripes for him. But mine's fairly boring in in, in sense of he likes his dark colours. Okay, but I'm going to give him some pink flowers. Because I feel like he needs to be a bit jazzed up. There we go. And hopefully you can see that these um, Stampin' Blends are just, they're just going on beautifully. And... The colour is going down evenly, uh, it's not um, blurring or blending the lines or doing any of that stuff. There's, oops, no, wrong one. Here's the ivory for his legs. Bless him. Um, there we go. Might have to leave mine just white. I'm, all, I'm known as China White because I'm always so pale. <laughs> there we go. Let's give his face a nice bit of a colouring in. There we go. And I'm not taking too long over this. I'm, this is not a class in how to use blends. If you want to do that, I have a blends club that you can join in. And I have a blends uh, set of previous blends tutorials um, videos that we can that you can get. So there we go. That's that. Okay. Otherwise, we would be here all day. And then I've got my grey. <laughs> not that he is grey. He's not grey, he's just got dark hair. So we'll put, I should have got my dark brown out, really. He's going to moan at me about giving him... But he's more like black hair, to be honest. So he's not really brown. I'll add a bit of brown so he doesn't feel quite... Oh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Oh dear. Obviously my, um, actually it's added a few little spots. It's not too bad, really. <laughs> so this does sometimes happen. If I, if you jam your lids on too tight, you can't then get your lid off. So you just have to bear, bear with yourself while you can get your lid off. It will come off eventually. There we go. So <laughs> uh, and then you can see inside, it's just basically a, um, it's just a, a an ink inner no different from any other ink inner except that it's got alcohol and that's why the that's why the lids are so tight because the alcohol needs to stay inside and not evaporate off that's just going to add some extra sort of zhuzh, zhuzh to the card <laughs> okay. oh i'm throwing it all around at the moment 
And then I'm going to use the, the lighter grey just on his camera. So it's probably, probably black, but we'll just add a bit of lighter grey on here. There we go. There we go. So that, oh, and his sunglasses. There we go, just add a bit of. So that is my little man, okay? With the blends, you could try your colour lifter on it but your colour lifter will work a little bit, but it might leave some behind. But we do have a colour lifter that we could go in and we could attempt. Um, it will lift some of it off. I'm just not sure it'll lift all these bigger bigger bits off. But you can go in with the colour lifter and it will start to lift some of the colour off. Actually, it's not too bad, to be fair. Yeah, it's lifting it quite nicely, but it is leaving slight marks. It, the colour lift is mainly to, to stop you going over the lines, push the colour back in to where it came over. Um, and also if you wanted to just add a bit of highlighting, so you could add a bit of highlighting to his hat, then it's great because it does start to lift, lift the colour out a little bit. Um, I might give that a go actually, see if I can't get some of that moving out. It's better when it's dry, so I might try with that when it's dry and see if I can't move that out because he's so cute. Or I might just cut him out. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's alcohol markers. You can see that it does come through on the back where I've done lots and lots of colouring or different shading over the top, uh, like where I went over his shorts and over his um, top and his hair. Uh, it does come through and that's exactly how it should be. Okay, so don't panic about that. Uh, but you can see that it hasn't at all moved. So remember when we did the the cow with the water it really did sort of move it out about whereas here the black line has stayed perfectly if I was to do that um, with a water-based pencil and use some water on it it would lift that black out because it's a water-based ink so the alcohol with water-based perfect images okay mix it the other way around not so much okay so that's that one then I'm just going to show you the difference with stays on. So stays on again is another um, felt pad. So you need to give it a little bit more oomph when you're pressing down. Um, you'll also need a different cleaner with stays on. And you'll notice that I'm using a different paper. And this one I am going to press hard and I'm going to hold, 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 hold because this is our, actually that's come out lovely, this is our um, Fluid 100 watercolour paper, so it's got a slight um, bobble to it, so you just need to hold it down a little bit longer for it to take. Okay, so do you remember in my first lesson when we added the water to that and it all went a bit messy, and technically there's green in there but it's really hard to see. Now that we're working with stays on, on a water card stock, now we can use our pencils or our inks or any of our others, but I thought I'd use the pencils since we didn't use them before. And these are great for using with this. Um, and our aqua painter. So we only need a little bit of green. I'm not even going to do the whole thing. Just a tiny amount of that colour green and then a tiny amount of extra, little extra green like that. Not going to um, do any more than that. Now, my hat has to be pink, okay? For those of you who know me, I had a hat um, when I went on my first incentive trip ever. My friend, the lovely Mari, lent me her gorgeous hat that had pink stripes. It was pink and white and it was lovely. And we named it Margot. Um, so <laughs> my, my hat was Margot. So I'm going to give justice to that and give a kudos to that. And then I'm going to be obviously dressed in purple because purple is my colour. So I'm just adding a little bit of gorgeous grape. And you'll notice I'm only adding it to the dark areas. Reason for that. Um, and then I'll probably have a blue suitcase because that's sort of me. I've actually got one that's um, Bermuda Bay sort of colour. Actually, it's more like Coastal Cabana. So let's add a bit of Coastal Cabana because I do actually have a suitcase that colour. Uh, and my handbag is pink as well. I have a pink handbag, obviously. Obviously, don't you? Um, so <laughs> there we go. Now you'll see I haven't coloured all of that at all. Um, I've been quite, 
quite lax in my colouring in and that's because I'm going to be using my aqua painter to show you how a water-based ink works on watercolour cardstock when you are using an alcohol-based ink pad. So we'll start off with the green and I'm just adding just a smidge of water around that. There we go. Okay. Can you see now how that has merged the two greens together and it started to spread it out further down the page so the the ink is actually moving down into the rest of the cardstock okay then I'm going to do the hat and again just a little bit don't need masses don't want the pink going everywhere should have done pink for the hair really shouldn't I but hey hey this is all hat this is all hat and bow to be honest I don't know seems strange to have hair Oh, I think that was supposed to be my hair under there. Oh, okay. The hat's just this bit. Oh, well, never mind. I've got pink hair too, if you know me. So <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, I might just add a bit of purple into that because, as you know, I do have purple hair as well. So we'll just add purple hair. Bit of that there. Bit of pink, bit of purple. That's my hair going nicely now. Okay. So now we've got purple and pink. But because I've been quite gentle in how much water I've added, the purple and the pink are not merging. OK, if I added more water, then they would start to merge. And if I came over the lines, it would start to spread. But if you just stay within the lines, it's going to stay within the lines. So for this, for my dress, I've literally just put it on one side. I'm going to take that ink and I'm going to spread it across with my water going across now I think my dress goes all the way up there and I think that's just a row of beads that I'm wearing so spread it over so you can see how you can get different shadings based on um, putting the colour on one side and pulling it across with the water on the other side and then a snazzy turquoise suitcase lovely just block filling that in really it doesn't need to be anything else nice pink handbag again fairly sort of loose with my coloring oops gone over the side push it back in a bit there we go and then i think i'm going to have to have coastal cabana sunglasses aren't i really so we'll just pop these rims in here and this time i'm not even going to add any water i'm just going to leave them as they are with the pencil and we could even add a little should we do I want to go one more yeah let's go one more let's add a little flower add a little flower make it quite light there we go so there you go so now hopefully you can see the difference this one hasn't come through the back So this one's a softer look, this one's quite crisp, but none of the black lines have moved. And in fact, the stays on will never move, it's permanent. Um, and the little watercolour has been moved around and then leave that to dry and that will look beautiful. Um, and the alcohol blends is already dry, it's already done and dusted. So there you go, so opposites do attract. <laughs> Which, as uh, if you knew Sean and I, you'd say that's very true because Sean's very quiet and introverted and I'm quite loud and extroverted. So, <laughs> so it works in real life too. So there you go. So remember, that's all you need to remember. Opposites attract. So alcohol markers with a water-based ink and water-based ink, water-based colour with a alcohol or, or uh, solvent based ink okay so that's how I remember those two opposites attract uh, and then obviously you could just pop that on a card but I'm going to wait and see if I can get that bit off first before I create my two little cards uh, but I will put this one this one I'm gonna I need to cut down a little trim that oh I could just pop her straight on the only thing with our fluid paper is you will notice it is slightly off-white 
um, just because of the processing but she does fit on there perfectly like that so I might put her as a complete topper straight on top of that and then we'll put him on, an, on a card on a little note card like that once I get that spotty bit off um, and I've got some great sentiments there's some where are they where have they gone there are some really cute things so this one says congratulations on your next adventure so I like that one and then this one says there we go follow your bliss and Sean loves taking photographs especially of little creepy crawlies and stuff so um, both of those sentiments work both work really well for those cards uh, and uh, that's how I'll be finishing them off but you've probably listened to enough of me by now for this session so we will call it a day and then I'll be back again and we'll start exploring the colours and how you can really start to use them uh, on different things with our papers the different kinds of papers and all of that we're going to cover all of that in the next few um, classes so come back again soon and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified whenever I am live. And if you want to purchase this, all of this is available from my online store and I'll have links below so you can um, grab them while you can. Alrighty, thanks ever so much for watching. You take care now. Bye bye.